Technologies has devised an innovative application of Sky Cool Film by using it as a cooling agent that can go a long way in preventing food wastage. One of the SDG goals is to reduce hunger and poverty. So we are working at the bottom of the pyramid, which is really cost conscious and really competitive as well. So what we are seeing here is a street cart which a vendor pulls it over the streets and he's the last to make connectivity and there is a huge loss of weight due to heat. This is what exactly we are addressing. As you know, 45% of the food wastage is happening and that too, especially in the vegetables and fruit sections. So what we are doing is that we have pasted a film, this is called Sky Cool Film, developed by Stanford University in USA. It's a seven layer film, which reflects only the IR spectrum. So what we get is below this, up to eight degrees C Celsius, there will be a difference. So this makes our, especially the green leaves, normally the green leaves wither within a day, within a day, but with this technology, three days, it looks fresh. We have done this experiment for one year, and even we have given this to Kolar, which is one of the vegetable producing centers in Karnataka and the largest tomato producing center, second largest uh, pr tomato producing center in the whole country itself. And tomato being a watery uh, fruit, there's a huge loss for the farmer, not only for the farmer, the street vendor as well. So the street vendor loses, he in the morning he purchases by weight, he sells by weight, but if the weight loss is there due to sun, the sun heat, he loses his profit and he is working at a margin of 100 or 200 rupees. So for him, even saying 5 rupees, 10 rupees is something like 5%, 10% of margin, more than what he can do. The key point is he has to move around. So we cannot have a grid power. So this is without electricity, it is cooling. That is the key point. Without electricity, cooling up to 8 degree difference is something really amazing. As I told you, green stay back for three days. So he has now three times the probability to sell. Same way for vegetables. Recently, we contested in the All India uh, Great Tomato Challenge and we were in the top 10 because of this technology. Now, currently, we are also moving towards how to cool houses, especially data centers. Data centers require huge amount of energy for cooling. Even if you reduce 5 to 10% of their cooling, this will have a huge impact. You know that electricity production is also one other way that we are polluting the whole world if it is fuel fuel, ba fuel fuel based. That is one of the key things here. It is absolutely no pollution. Zero pollution is the hallmark of this technology because we are not polluting anything. Additionally, when anyone would ask, because you are now reflecting the heat, will the atmosphere be getting hot? Already we have climatization problem. It is not the case. It is reflecting back to the space, which is always cooler. So there is no heating of the atmosphere also. That is an additional advantage of this technology. Now currently in in our campus, in the startup, what we are doing is, we are now testing it apart from the street vendors. We are also working with companies to reduce the electric power consumption required for cooling. This is our business model, what we are working. Currently, we are getting all these films from in, uh, US, United States of America, but now we have discussed with them, they are willing to have a transfer of technology. Additionally, we are also working out how to make the film by ourselves in India. The key point is not only for the street cart vendor it is useful, we call this from farm to fork, everywhere this can be used. When the farmer harvests it, he puts it on the ground, there also we can cool it. He is selling it, they're sending it through lorry, there also we can cool it. He is putting it in the warehouse, there also it can be cooled. Till the last mile, this technology work, this is what we call from farm to fork, this technology can be applied not only for this application, as I told you in the data center, this is one other application. The key application which we are looking for is buildings. Cooling buildings is a very, very big thing in energy intensive operations. So if we could reduce that by putting all these uh, films across all the places, it will have a huge effect that we can save the energy which can be used for constructive purposes, not necessarily for cooling because we could reduce this thing. We have calculated just for tomato. 
just for one vegetable we calculated 1 kg there is a loss of only 5 gram morning i purchased 1 kg there is a loss of 5 gram that is what we are saving so basically he is purchasing 1 kg selling 1 kg there is no loss for him but if you look into that one day 1 kilo 5 kg if you put it across the country this comes somewhere around half a million dollar half a million dollar saving this is very very huge and this goes to the bottom of the pyramid that is even more important because our farmers and the street cart vendors are suffering due to various things now we are helping them this is the key point that we want to stress it out so we are using sky cool passive cooling film over here to reduce the ambient surface temperature that which can be helpfully help the street cart vendors which is getting a lot of effective problem with respect to the reduction of vegetables getting wastage due to the heat waves so this is a skycool film that which is been developed by usa by the stanford university professors and been tested in india for the past 3 years at cit the technical specifics of this technology is seven layers basically the seven layers contains aluminum silicon copper and other three materials that which can be not be disclosed right now and this is been going through in a testing process this particular sky cool passive cooling film will reflect back the ir radiance of the sunlight that which is reflected into the surface wherever this particular sky cool film is getting pasted with respect to the ir radiance reflections the ambient temperature and the surface temperature will be having a difference of 8 to 12 degrees celsius without any calculation problems we have been doing a lot of testings with different aspects of uh, experimental purposes and all the data are been analyzed by the professionals and we have been collecting all the data for this particular skycool film 24 into 7 for the past 2 years